Okie pokey weirdos, I'm Rev, and welcome to my world of cosplay shenaniganery. After seeing the most recent trailer for the overly milked Santa Claus franchise, I got unbelievably excited because it showed this dude coming back. <gasps> this character is essentially the Christmas elf version of the emo boy, and I love him so much. I've been wanting to make his cosplay for years. And his return has finally pushed me into doing so. I didn't want to go full on accurate because I knew I'd be using a lot of thrifted items. So let's go from head to toe and see how I can dress my elf in the cheapest clothing possible while still looking like Bernard. With how I start almost every single cosplay, I make Google Slides of all the images I can find on the internet of the character, as well as some of my own screenshots from any show or movie that they're from. Starting from the top, Let's go with Bernard's hat. We're looking at what appears to be Hunter's green upholstery velvet, and I managed to find this vest. Seven bucks, not bad, not bad. It might be crushed velvet and it's stretchy instead of holding its shape, but I will give it some sort of structure with adding a different fabric to it as a backing. Also on his hat is a brooch. I managed to find this one at a thrift store, and I also have this ribbon from my stash. While the ribbon looks more like his second movie, I'm okay with that. We also have the little clasp on the side of his hat, which I got plenty of little gold buttons to make that work. Then we have his wig, that is where I'm not saving as much money. So that's an Amazon purchase, 20 bucks. His ears, again, an Amazon purchase, but this will also be a purchase I can use repeatedly for other characters, so totally worth it, $10. We've got the red velvet shirt. I was super excited to have found this one. It does need a little tweaking. I have to change the neckline and I need to tighten the cuffs. However, this works really, really well and I'm super happy with it. At $7.50. Next up are more buttons and gold chain and a little doodads and attachments. I've ordered some more gold chain and jewelry making kit stuff from Amazon as well as picked up a whole bunch of bits and baubles from thrift stores. Is his necklace. This is a little more odd because while the rest of his accents are gold, this is more copper and bronze. I got ornaments from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint them and reshape some of them, mold them, add attachments to them, whatever else I can to make them look like this necklace. I also got some earrings that are going to match these swirly doodads on the sides. I've got the chains from a thrift store, and we're set for the necklace. Then with the shirt, I got a heck ton of trim. I spent way more money on trim than I really needed to, but I wanted to make sure that I had the right kind for his shirt, because it's kind of hard to tell until you get a really zoomed in picture on all the detail on his shirt. There is this trim with embroidered butterflies, and I really wanted something to emulate that, so I am going to order some butterfly ribbon. We've also got some gold buttons to cover the back of his shirt, where the actual opening will be, because everything down the front is a fake opening. His belts, there's a gold yellow one, and also a red scarf. We got the red scarf, and I have thrifted some gold fake leather that I will make work for this project. Following the belts, we have his little satchel. I managed to find a purse that fits me correctly for an over-the-shoulder. He's got fringe along the edges, which I managed to thrift. And he's got a brooch of some sort. Got that. And then green pom-poms dangling off the ends, which I was able to also thrift and pull from my stash. Then we have the pants. Easy enough. Thrifted some brown corduroy. His pants aren't technically corduroy, but that's as close as I could get with pants that fit me at the thrift stores. And for his boots, I'm going to wear my regular black combat boots. We've seen these in my pictures and videos plenty of times. I wasn't going to get new shoes for this outfit. Thanks to the magic lore within the show, I definitely wanted a snow globe to be carrying around in his bag. To say this is where me, cosplaying as Bernard, is carrying his magic. So I am going to be spending $30 on a snow globe, which exceeds what I was planning, but it fits better to the type of costume I want to do. People definitely don't have to go as detailed as I did or get as many little doodads, but I'm also obsessed with hoarding 
bits and pieces and baubles and making lots of stuff. So that's on me. With everything I'm purchasing or already have purchased within my stash, the grand total is... And if you think about how much each article of clothing is alone at their original prices, I saved a crazy amount of money on this. I'll see y'all next time. Leave me a comment below if you think of something that I could add to the costume or tweak to help me along. It's not Christmas yet, but we'll get started. How about that? I'm still celebrating Halloween. You all know it. And you know all of us YouTubers love to ask for thumbs and subs. Welcome to the madness.